Hey guys and welcome to PrimandPrep.com. Today we're going to be doing another safety razor review for you guys. We're going to be talking about the Mercure 20C, which is a black handle, uh, chrome knob and chrome head finished safety razor that is three piece. Um, let's jump right into it. The head is pretty much the same shape as a lot of the other classic um, Mercure safety razors, such as the 34C, if not Identical. Uh, the biggest thing that makes the difference is the handle, um, which this is the longer model. There is a shorter uh, black handle model called the 30C that I will be reviewing in an upcoming video. But it weighs 2.2 ounces, which doesn't seem that much, but holding in your hand it does feel like it good, has a good amount of heft to it. And that's because uh, the handle is really thin, but it's really dense, so it feels feels heavier in your hand. But it does uh, maneuver re really well. It has a good balance point, which is towards the top of the grip, just where I like it. And that's where I hold it when I shave. And since I have big hands, it's easy for me f to maneuver from one hand position to the next. If you have smaller hands, it might be a little bit too long of a safety razor for you. Um, but for me, it has a good balance. I can maneuver it really well, and the grip is amazing. Um, the grip is what I thought was rubber out of the box. I thought it was going to feel softer, but it has a, it's, it's really dense when you're holding it in your hands. These grooves are just solid, um, which makes me think it's actually metal. And on one of the forums I was reading, one of the guys was talking about he thinks it's anodized aluminum uh, instead of hard rubber, which a lot of other people think that it is. But either way, it provides excellent grip. It has this barber pole spiral going down from the top to the bottom clockwise. Uh, which is kind of similar to the Mercure 38 and 39C barber pole safety razors, except these spirals are going clockwise down to the bottom, and the 38C has counterclockwise going to the bottom. And that does make a difference, because this will be a little bit easier to grip for a right-handed person, because your thumb is perpendicular to these threads, as opposed to somebody holding lefty, they're parallel, and you can feel a big difference when holding it and gripping it. And the opposite is true for the 38 and 39C, where it's easier for lefties and it's harder for righties. Um, but I'm a right-handed person, so this actually feels amazing. It feels like it's just sticking to my hand and would never fall out as I'm shaving, whether I have wet hands, soapy hands, or dry hands, it doesn't matter. The grip is amazing. Uh, head to toe is 4.25 inches long, which is on the longer end of safety razors, but uh, it feels like you're wielding a sword, this long one. That's why I, I kind of feel really cool about it when I'm transferring from one hand position to the next. feels like I'm swinging around a sword and really, you know, cutting up cutting up those hairs, which is kind of a, kind of a cool feeling. Um, it is a three-piece safety razor, so... All you need to do to replace the blade, pop off the top, make sure you're holding it by the side right here so you're not touching the, the blade's edge. Put a blade in, put it back. It's obviously not as easy as a two-piece or a butterfly open safety razor, but it's not that bad. If you're careful in the, the construction is just amazing, it's going to last you a lifetime. Uh, sometimes butterfly open safety razors tend to break because of the moving parts. Even a two-piece safety razor has moving parts, so... This will last you the longest, but it makes blade replacement just a tad bit harder, but not that much. In terms of shave quality, uh, I went through about three passes to get a BBS or baby butt smooth shave with the safety razor, which is about average. Um, I didn't get any cuts or nicks even on my first time. Uh, obviously, I've been shaving for a while. I feel like my technique is good. Um, but it is a mild safety razor. I rated it about a 4 a four out of 10 on my aggressiveness scale, which is mild, even on the low end of mild, which is good for any beginner. So if you're just starting out with wet shaving, this could be a good option for you, especially if you like that black, that black handle look to it, which is kind of cool. Uh, the biggest thing I have against it is how hard it is to clean this black and how quickly it gets dirty from soap scum from using from using it um, on a daily basis. Um, 
it took me a lot longer to clean than a chrome finished handle getting for when I was getting it ready for taking this video. I had to clean it out. It took me a lot longer. It also gets dirtier quick, um, more quickly. But it does it does have a nice look to it. For people that like that black that black look or black theme going on, then this could be the one for you. Uh, also, for any beginner, it's very mild. Even using a sharp feather blade, I had no trouble. Um, getting a clean shave with no with no cuts. So, in conclusion, you know it's a it's a good it's a good safety razor. Well constructed, will last you forever. It does cost forty nine or fifty dollars, which is a little bit on the higher end, especially if you're starting out with uh, wet shaving and you're not sure if it's right for you. This might be a little bit more expensive. Uh, I might recommend getting like a thirty four C or a thirty three classic uh, safety razor. Um, if you're looking to get Mercure. But, thanks for watching my review, guys. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Um, it is a very pretty safety razor. Head over to primaprep.com for more male grooming tips and reviews on products and safety razors. Have a good one.